A peace everyone, this is Illmatical, broadcasting to you live and direct from the glorious city of Harlem, New York. Um, so, Homeboy and the Pyramids, uh, this is a travel book that I had started um, after living abroad. I've lived in seven countries, uh, including Brazil. Asia, uh, in Asia, I was in several countries. I was in uh, China, <clears throat> man, I've so many China, several cities in China, and then uh, Taiwan, uh, Cambodia, Vietnam, Hong Kong, which is not technically China, but more on that later, and Tanzania, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. <laughs> and I wanted to share my journeys. Uh, why, many of you know that while I was in Asia, I was there four and a half years, but I was uh, briefly incarcerated and then uh, returned to the United States. So I had some amazing experiences. Um, and, you know, while I was uh, in prison, a friend suggested, that she, you know, this has to be a book. And so that was the impetus for me writing about Homeboy and the Pyramids. Um, but a buddy of mine in fact the same friend who had encouraged me to start my journey in traveling in asia you know he was really saying you know you really should consider doing a podcast uh due to my background in journalism so while i'm finishing up my book my book is about sorry excuse me about 75 percent done i am going to be having interviews with many so-called black, you know, black, I'm not really big into that word, but black men who have travel experience, uh, who have travel experience, and then I'm also sharing things that I've learned while traveling, things to save you time and energy and resources to help you on your journey. Um, The reason that this travel guide is aimed at so-called black men is because we need to have a dialogue amongst ourselves um, in relation to travel and when I say so-called black men I'm talking about you know African American Caribbean Afro Latino and African men Um, we have a different we're perceived differently on this planet I think outside of our home countries and outside of uh, Africa we are perceived in a certain kind of way in certain continents especially a place like Asia South America or maybe Europe, I think that, you know, we have a certain kind of energy that we take with us, and it's not negative or better, it's just, it may be perceived a certain way, so I think that we need to share experiences in relation to travel. So, that was another reason I just wanted to share with people as I begin this journey, as I'm around finishing up my book, but I wanted to share with people my experiences, and uh, inspire people. I've got a, I've got a blog, but you know, in this day and age, um, having a podcast is definitely, I feel, a little bit more effective. And also, I wanted to just connect with more people. So, I'm fortunate that the book is almost done. Um, you know, even as I'm writing as, as this morning, I'm looking at the uh, New York Times section. It was an article about something happening in Hong Kong and uh, it just struck a chord with me because Hong Kong was really a significant city it it really is the city that um, provoked you know the title of my book Homeboy and the Pyramids the Pyramids I don't know if any of your brothers have read The Alchemist but hopefully you do but you know in this book the protagonist believes that they would find a treasure in their journey and that's what happened with me when I was in first in Asia I'll just share briefly, when I first started out, uh, when I first got to China, you know, I had to make a visa run, and I'll get into that in my book, what a visa run is, and so forth, um, I first heard about that when I was in Brazil years ago, but when I went to China, I had to go to Beijing, and I met up with a contact from New York City there, and Beijing is an, is an awesome city in its own regard, you know, uh, mainland China is dope, but it, Hong Kong is one of the most fucking amazing looking places in, in the world, um, 
hopefully if you ever have a chance definitely stop through you know and look at this place this place is like a high-tech version of new york city and it's it's an amazing place it's like uh the movie blade runner at times and it has its faults but um it's in it's an amazing looking city it's like china done right i don't know disrespect the mainland china <laughs> but uh it became my focus and i really wanted to live there and so during my like four and a half years in asia i was trying to level up and i had all these wild and amazing experiences going through all these different provinces and different countries and they saw so many amazing things and i wind up going you know uh having some silly but you know hong kong became my pyramid so i thought i was going to find my treasure there and incidentally it was my incarceration in hong kong that allowed me to have stronger relations with uh, relationships with brothers from the continent and then go to africa so that being said i um was sharing want to share my journey with you um is i'm gonna also have a lot of uh interviews with brothers who have inspired me who travel and i'm looking forward to hearing from you and i'm looking forward to uh you know encouraging more so-called black men to travel but again it my encourage encouragement is always for you to live stay outside in the country for a while work and uh you know have the ups and downs all right again i'm not against any form of travel people want to go to you know a resort for a week or two that's good for them um but we'll, we'll continue to build and uh look forward to to, to uh, sharing with you building and uh, sharing resources about travel and thank you for tuning in